this time on UK Panda 4x4, as darkness falls over the Peak District, the team are out green laning at night. Good evening everyone, um, so while Andy stays back at the cottage to welcome the late arrivals, um, I'm currently on the uh, in the Panda Convoy with Steve and Adam Barley leading us uh, around, the, around the Peak District. We've, uh, we've just passed Buxton and uh, hit a fantastic river crossing, which uh, so we've got, we've all got nice and muddy wet cars now and we're just on to find the next challenge. So, uh, so stay tuned, um, hopefully Andy will give you some updates from their nice relaxing evening at the cottage with some beers and some wine and some tea. Uh, meanwhile we're out here getting wet and muddy and having lots of fun.
I think we might need to make some room for the others. Yeah, there was rocks in the bottom, I'll push the thing out of the way. The middle bit gets a bit sticky on that. Yeah, you've got to keep going. Yeah, do you want to make, do you want to make some room, yeah. Get a bad wave on! <laughs> it's a bit deep this bit is, so... <laughs> um, I think you'll be okay with it if you get a bit of a bad wave going. Yeah, is, it better, is, it, is there a better side? Or? Just go straight through, I think. Well, he did it, just about. <laughs> what's the um, what's, going on here? what's the ground force theme tune? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to sing it, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, I can, I can find it. <laughs> we got got modern day Charlie Dimmock here digging a trench for us. <laughs> you got an inch off it. <laughs> Are we? Uh, is this like an archaeology? Oh yeah, we might find some trail treasure. <laughs> Halloween special too. It could be, yeah. <laughs> Who's going to get murdered, though, Sam? I think we all died last time, so... <laughs> <laughs> we all died by drowning this time. Yeah. If you just swamp, if you just duck under there, then we'll just have a hand coming out. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's swampy enough. So after me and Sai have just driven through the swamp, um, mm. Steve's now making it easier for, for Adam and John. So... So we want that noted when there's bragging rights back at the back at the cottage later. <laughs> that we went through it when it was deeper. Because I, well, I was, I really didn't realise what this was about. <laughs> no, I was just following Steve, and then I saw this bit. I was like, oh no, <laughs> got very sticky in the middle. Yeah, there's, there's a really soft bit in the middle, isn't there? I must yeah. say, I think that's when you said this floor. This one's on the rack. I just did it. <laughs> There was, a, there was a horrible rock on the entry as well, and I, as I went over it and heard a big clunk, I remembered that I don't have a prop guard on at the moment. Oh, right, so yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, you've got to be careful. I was there. like, oh no. <laughs> but I think it's still four-wheel drive, so I think we're okay. Yeah. <laughs>
put my wellies. <laughs> Wait, did you actually put your wellies on? Yes, I did. Okay, yeah. <laughs> as soon as we got to this bit, I was like, I definitely need wellies on for this. No problem. Did someone say pub? Well, yeah, we did mention the pub. Well, before we can get a drink, the pandas need a drink. It's all got a bit spooky out here. The mist has rolled in. Meanwhile, back at base camp, we were wondering why nobody had arrived yet. Until we realised that people had arrived. It was just that Lewis had arrived first in his camper van. He'd got stuck and blocked the road. The Peugeot-powered Talbot Express just didn't have enough beans underneath the right-hand pedal to make it up the hill itself. Then, all of a sudden... A mysterious gentleman in a white transit van turned up, clearly on his way back from some kind of European trip, got the tow bar out and yucked Lewis out of the way. Right, transit powered Talbot Express. Shortly after the road had been cleared, the cohort of green laners had returned. With Steve at the helm and his apparently locked up disc brake, 
It brought some interesting sights and smells along with it. And the best thing was, he didn't even realise. Because 100 horsepower, of course. And that was it for the evening, and indeed the weekend in the Peak District. Leave us a comment if you've enjoyed this series of videos. Don't forget to keep an eye out on Facebook and Instagram for our latest updates. See you next time everyone.